hello guys in this video we will see how to make a structured grid for a pipe first i will use solidworks to prepare the geometry and then we will mesh using axis first i will create a part i will enter into a part now i will click on the right plane and give sketch now i am going to create a geometry like a pipe which has a diameter of about 100 mm so I have to split it into five parts, which I will do it now. First, it will be a square. I will approximately give the values as 30 mm by 30 mm. So this will be our main part inside, and I will give it as mid plane. And let me choose the diam the length of the pipe as 100 mm. So I will just click. Okay, now I will give a sketch on the right plane again. Now I will draw a circle. This circle is our main pipe diameter, so this will be 100 mm. Now, what we have to do is we have to split the circle into four parts. But initially, I will just take one and the dimension of this will be this is already defined so i'll just define for this this one 35 can trim the entities the feature extra grass and i should uncheck the merge result and click okay now we have got parts I'll select this body and click on circular pattern for the direction I will click on this edge and I'll already select this and select this and for the bodies I'll select this now you see I have given it as two and the equal spacing for 360 degrees and I'll just select okay what I have is five bodies. If you see, I have five bodies this one and two this one. So I have five different bodies. Now I have to save it. I put it in isometric view. Give it to file, save as. First, I will save it as pipe. Give it a solid part, save, file, save as. I will give us pipe IGS. And I will save it as a GES file and give save. Now we can move on to access fluent. I will go here and I will drag and drop mesh. The geometry, I will right click and import geometry and give browse and I will go to my desktop where I have saved the pipe IGES file and click open. Now I have to go into design modeler. I'll go into this. First, click on import and instead of add frozen, we will add material and click generate. We have the geometry here. But if you see, we have five solids, but this is a fluid region. So what we have to do is click on this, hold shift and click on the last part so that we can select all five and change it to fluid and click on generate once more. Now this is all fluid region, how to check it, just select on any of this and you can see it is a fluid, select any of this and you can see it is a fluid. But we are having five parts and five bodies. So we will select all things again, right click and give. Uh, form new part now what we have is one part which this whole thing is one part which is an assembly of five bodies so that is what this means now just for safety we click generate and we have five bodies into a single part now we can move on to meshing I'll close this now for meshing I can go inside
Now as this machine has opened and uh, let it input the geometry. Now we have the geometry also. First click on mesh and change the mechanical to CFD and you can change the advance you can use number of CPUs if you have more for the easier machine but for demonstration I am just going inside and just give the default value and click generate now if you see it is very coarse mesh so I will decrease the amount to 10 this it is an opaque mesh and so I will reduce it further to 5 mm now it is still further good but if you see on the face the mesh is not in very consistent meaning if you see here we have uh, 4 plus 4 plus 1 we have 9 divisions but in this phase we have only 6 divisions so when we plot the velocity graph at the outlet or inlet it won't be very consistent so what we have to do is we have to insert multi zoom we are going to method and i'll select all five bodies by holding control it selects all five bodies so i'm going to say okay for automatic i will choose multi zoom and i'll click on generate visualize you can click on this now we can see that it has improved further but still it is not consistent so what I have to do is go to mesh give insert and give sizing over here I will select the edge and I'll select this edge hold control and select all these edges and click apply for the element size I will change it to number of divisions and behavior from soft to hard and for number of divisions initially I will give 10 and click on generate now if you see we have consistent uh, equ almost same size elements of uh, divisions 10 and if you see here we also have consistent mesh over the body on another for face also we have similar results so we can go again to this phase and refine it further by changing number of divisions to 15 and click on generate now if you see it is further small and it is almost of the same size between the inner part and the outer part and this should be fine and if you see here there are no skewness and everything is consistent and if you want to refine this uh, section also further you can do it by inserting an edge sizing over there but it is not actually needed for a steady state simulation for a laminar case so I will just leave it with this and if you see here everything is consistent and here also everything is consistent now if we have fluent further and you can just use it uh, by importing fluent module but if you are going to do in open form you can go to file export and export it as mesh file and use it in open form so that's it for this video i hope you understood how to make a structured grid for a circle or a cylinder pipe if you have doubts please drop it in the comments thank you